Especially the moment of the prayer when you ask the Holy Spirit to descend of these two parts of the sacrament, the bread and the wine, that makes the Holy Communion effective and is a spiritual way of reconnection with our Father and Mother in Heaven. So this prayer will be given during this video. You can watch it, you can serve your own personal Holy Communion at home. The Holy Communion is an amazing secret moment uh, that you take for yourself when your spiritual work is finished, when you do some spiritual ritual, when you are finished with your prayers, you just did the spiritual service, uh, when you have accomplished a very profound meditation. It is very good to finish this practice with uh, the sacrament of the Holy Communion. You really take the Holy Communion just once in uh, 24 hours, just once a day. It is enough. What, what you need to serve the Holy Communion is just a very little piece of a bread or a very specific bread, special bread, that uh, you definitely can uh, buy or, or in the church or through internet uh, we call it hosti here and uh, the wine that we use for Holy Communion is never uh, the real wine because uh, the alcohol is an aspect that can block the blessings of the Holy Spirit and our physical body so alcohol works in so destructive, 
not only for our brain, but also for our cells and our organs, that we never and never use alcohol, the real uh, wine or based on alcohol in our sacrament of Holy Communion. We just use the grape juice as grape juice is a perfect substitute for the wine and it's not any alcohol, there's a lot of blessings of the sun so we release the blessings of the Holy Spirit upon this piece of bread and this little, uh, the very little um, portion of this grape juice that we call the wine of God. So symbolically we're taking in the substance which uh, connects us with the deepest secret nature of our universe, matter, which is a bread, and a spirit, which is a wine. So the secret wine, the holy waters of the spirit, uh, the flow of illumination, the flow of the river of life, is a symbol of the blood of our Creator himself, this most holy and secret blood that contains the life force. That is also aspect of the Spirit and the aspect of the Father of the creation, the Divine Masculine. The bread represents uh, the aspect of Mother and feminine counterpart of creation, the feminine force, uh, it is the aspect of Divine Mother. And so the Holy Bread, the Mother, the Holy Wine, the Father. The Bread represents the flesh, the material body, the material substance, this tangible world which is created from the Spirit. So Spirit has created Mother, but all together they form uh, the perfect balance of creation as above, so below, as in heaven, so on earth, as a spirit, so is in matter, and these two aspects uh, create the divine whole, and we take them both. This is why it's so important, not only take the holy bread during Holy Communion, as in many churches, um, this uh, sacrament was um, usually is accomplished by uh, giving bread to all uh, congregation and only the priest take the bread and the wine so we don't want to deprive our blessed brothers and sisters for the blessing of the Holy Spirit uh, that we really take in when we drink the consecrated wine don't forget this is a grape juice blessed so during the flow of the Holy Spirit is a consecration of the bread and the wine. The most beautiful angels of Holy Communion come down unto us. And our blessed Master, our blessed Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach, is here to surround us in His field of infinite love. His sweet and holy presence is a divine mediator between the man and his creator. It goes through this blessing of Holy Communion in the Holy Bread and into the Holy Wine. Unseen, our blessed Yahushua is always present during every sacrament of Holy Communion, during every consecration. He is shared with us his body and his blood symbolically, which represents the same substance of body and blood of Blessed Father and Mother in Heaven. It represents absolutely identical flow and substance of energy of our Creator that our blessed Yahushua shares with us during the sacrament of the Holy Communion. 
It is His love that heals us when we partake this blessed bread and this blessed wine. He takes us in, in the realization that we all are the great mystical body of the Almighty One on this planet and in the whole universe. We all are one. Also, our souls and our bodies consecrated, purified, raised up in vibration, contain all this mystical substance of the body and the blood of our Creator. We are not made any different mother than our Blessed Savior. We are sons and daughters of the Almighty One. And we see our blessed Savior, our young Shur, as our beloved oldest brother, as a master of light, have restored our inner knowledge of our secret nature. Yes, we too are the sons and daughters of Yahweh. Through the sacrament of the Holy Communion, our secret life calling to become the Christ. Become, becomes activated and we truly enter this path of personal Christhood and follow the way of our blessed Yahushua. So let's take the sacrament of Holy Communion as the greatest blessing of our beloved Master who has shown us the way to become the Christ, the living Christ, the incarnated Christ on this beautiful planet. Let's just take a moment to realize how much I've performed one reincarnated Christ on earth. How much we can do all together. Hundreds of millions of Christs. And every Christ in every soul is wakened up to the everlasting glory of personal divinity and personal Christhood. Such a beautiful world will appear before our very eyes. And it depends upon all of us, the beauty of this bright future on our planet. It is our time. It's our time to trust the divinity within and know that we all and you, you personally, my blessed friend, you are called to become the living Christ. May you partake of the sacrament of the Holy Communion and may the transfer of the personal Christhood from the heart of our blessed Yahushua, enter your own heart. May the fullness of his light, of his glory, of his victory be transferred unto you in a moment when you drink this holy wine, the wine of the Spirit, the wine of the real life force, the eternal light of everlasting life that contains in the blood of every living being and contains in the blood of a blessed master in such a degree that God himself can speak through you when you become identical in the vibration with the blood of a blessed master as a transfusion transfer of the essence of life to you through this holy wine. And when you take in the bread, you adore and you bless the offer of our beloved Mother of the world, who has given us this beautiful material universe, who has given us this beautiful tangible bodies, basically temples where our Holy Spirit may dwell. 
the sanctification of mother by taking in the consecrated bread of the Holy Communion. All bodies are holy as our spirit is holy also. And so with this knowledge, my blessed friend, I invite you to be prepared for this sacrament. Yahweh bless you for that. Amen. Serve now the Holy Communion for yourself and continue uh, to watch this video by placing your hands above the Holy Bread and the Holy Wine and then take it in and make the sign of the cross at the end of this sacrament. Take a moment, take a short time to assimilate these blessings, remain in silence after that and really feel this holy light going slowly and deeply in every cell, atom, molecule, electron of your physical body. I love you. Be blessed. O Holy Spirit, come, charge this holy bread and this holy wine with the fullness of the Christ light. O mighty flow of love from the heart of the One, penetrate the molecule of this holy bread and this holy wine. Seal it now in the living presence of the Christ. Transfer unto us, O Yahweh, the fullness of your love. May this bread be charged with the fullness of the Spirit of the Mother. O Holy Mother, Mother of the Universe, Mother of all creation, seal us now in your heart. May your secret body be transferred unto us and be anchored in this holy bread. The body of the Christ is shared with us today. And may the fullness of the flow of the Spirit of the Father, Abba, Father, feel this holy one with a liquid essence of everlasting life. May the Holy Ghost descend and purge the molecules of the Holy Wine with the fullness of the Christ mind, with the diamond shining mind of the Almighty, May the light of your consciousness, the light of your heart, as a river of life be transferred unto us through the secret sacrament of the Holy Communion. 
the holy blood the holy blood oh yahweh and his blessed son yahushua descend now upon this holy wine and become one with thee we invoke the miracle of the transubstantiation to be performed upon the elements of the Holy Communion. May it become the bread and the wine, the body and the blood of our Holy Father and His Blessed Son. We partake now on Holy Communion and we accept the miracle of the transubstantiation of spirit in Mother. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Mother. We love you. In the name of the Father, of the Mother, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Receive ye the holy blood, the secret spirit of our Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. May His love descend upon you and all children of the In the name of the Father, of the Mother, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.